I will be consistent and I shall remain so. Not because I do not like the policies that are laid down by Kenya Kwanza government, but because I am in this house to pursue the interest of the people I do represent. And the people I do represent are people who have priorities. And the people that I do represent are people who understand the mathematics of making money. Making money from the farms and making their livelihoods better. Mr. Speaker, the spirit behind this bill was to dignify the way we live, was to make housing affordable and make housing accessible in line with the Kenyan Constitution, Article 43. Mr. Speaker, I am excited that the courts of Kenya found it worth to give a clear and sober direction over the existence of a law that oversighted the need to align ourselves with the Constitution of Kenya. Mr. Speaker, when I speak about dignity, you can only be dignified if you are living in a house that the community where you live in appreciate as a home. A home where your in-laws can come in, can enjoy a cup of tea, can enjoy a cup of music, can enjoy a cup of uji, and get an opportunity to enjoy sunlight. I do not expect that this block of flats that we are proposing we are going to construct in our homesteads are going to dignify our community lives. In fact, they are going to disfranchise the cultural setups in our backyard. I cannot imagine my mother-in-law coming to my house in a sixth floor block and live opposite another neighbor who doesn't speak her vernacular and ex expect her to feel comfortable in such a setting if really you want to dignify me and dignify my people. We cannot come here to purport that we are dignifying people, we are dignifying people, and we are removing them from their cultural setup away from what they can access for their cultural dignity to bring them to a contemporary modern understanding of what dignity is all about. Mr. Speaker, when I speak about dignity, I will be very excited as a member of parliament, specifically as a woman leader who has served in Kiambu County, and I understand Kiambu County very well. I will be excited if I could hear that we are dignified the people of Ruaburi slums in Kikuyu constituency, where majority leader comes from. I will be very happy to hear that we are giving all the people who live in Ruaburi slums, Kiambori, yes, Kiambori slums. Thank you, majority leader. I would be very happy to hear that the people who are living in Kiambori slums, all of them are going to be dignified and they are going to be given these houses in the most affordable way for them, remembering that most of them living in the slums have no constant income. They are not employed. I would be very excited if these houses are, are going to be given to the people who are living in Thika constituency in Nagishagi known as Gishagi Kia Madharao, meaning it is a, a, a village of indignified life. I will be very happy if these houses are dignifying those people. I will be very, very happy if these houses are dignifying the life of the people who live in Gashagi Kamaratadi. That is in a village of houses made of paper, nylon paper, in Lari constituents. I will be very, very happy. But looking at what has been done in the past, when this house tax and levies were introduced in this house. The houses that are being, being constructed, for example, the ones that have been constructed in Roilo, there is nobody from Gasogi Kamadharao can afford those houses. The deposit they are in, 400,000 per house, they cannot afford. So what dignity are we talking about here? Who are we dignifying? But Mr. Speaker, when you speak about accessibility, we are only constructing these houses in the urban areas. How accessible are these houses going to be to the people who live in the extreme corner of my constituency, for example, the people who live in Madhaja village in Gedega constituency of Gedongori County, the sub county? If we actually do the houses in, Gede, in Gedongori town, for example, how accessible are we going to align ourselves within the constitution 
Because this is the spirit of the Constitution. That is why I am opposing, opposing this bill. Actually, this bill, according to me, should not be called bill affo the Affordable Housing Bill 2023. It should act actually, if we really are serious, we should call it the Affordable and Social Housing Bill 2023. And the social means accommodating those people living in the nylon papers houses, like I have explained, because that is the spirit of the Constitution. So I am happy because I have put in amendments. I hope those amendments are going to be considered on the floor of this house so that my contributions and my thoughts and other people's thoughts who are thinking like I am thinking can be put in place. Mr. Speaker, when I speak about affordability, I do not think that the concept of stone and cement is what is affordable to my voters. I do not think that the concept of cement and stones and concrete is what is affordable to somebody in Trokana. Why can't we then, if you are calling them affordable, use the most affordable materials that are available in the villages? Why, why must you so, uh, force me to adopt your concept of concrete and stones and cement and that is not affordable to me? That is affordable to you because of your income levels. It is not affordable to me. To the people of Trokana, who are used to making their houses using, uh, you know, wood, wood cut from the, from the trees and the cow dung to smear the houses and look beautiful, to them, that is what they can afford in their backyard. Why are you going to introduce the concrete and stones in Trokana? And they are not affordable there. By the way, stones and cements are only affordable in Nairobi and Kiambu County where we have quarries. You go to the coastal part of the region, in the coast region, there are no stones. Why are they designing for, uh, houses to use stones from Darugo Quares in Kiambu County? And trucks have to come to leave, from, uh, to leave Vika or Roiro to go all the way to, to deliver stones in, in, in Quare County, for example. Isn't it this a business model for some people? So that is why I am opposing this bill. I, will pu I have put my amendments on the floor. I hope it, they are going to be considered. One minute, Honorable Mchombo. What's out of order, Honorable? Bye. Honorable Speaker, I rise to uh, on a point of order on misinformation because the coast region is known for the coral stone. And a lot of the houses in the coast are actually built on stone, coral stone. That's one of the most precious stones that is used for building. To say that the people of the coast actually enjoy staying in mud houses and they don't have building materials. We have, my constituency is a place called Tezo. Mombasa has been built by the stones from Tezo. It is a quarrying area. Better stones than those are the thicker. Kwale itself has one of the best coral reef with the best coral stones. So if you, if you, if you, 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 uh, I, What's out of order? is a very well-informed person, but she should not distort facts. Okay. She should not distort facts and uh, misinform people. We have very good building stones. And our houses, almost every house in Philippi now is built. Thank you. Thank you, the Honorable Boy. I, th I think uh, the Honorable Boy. Mr. Speaker, I think the Honorable, my friend, wanted to inform me, but he did not request me for permission to be informed because I don't think I was out of order. So next time, don't misuse the, court, the, the studying orders. Mr. Speaker, as I conclude, allow me to address the issue the issue of land. I still would want to understand that this bill, because I've read it, it has not addressed how the government of Kenya is taking up public land. The legal framework around taking over pieces of land in our backyards is something that's still not addressed by this bill. No wonder I am not supporting it. You cannot come to my county and my sub-county and purport to take over public land to construct houses, land that was alienated for some project that serves the community. For example, in Gidongori constituency, there is a proposal to take up land that was supposed to be used for our Mau Mau veteran memorial activities and cultural activities. And there is a lot of coercion happening so that that community can lose that land to affordable housing. I still feel this is not right. There is no right. I'll, 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 no, no, no. Allow her 30 seconds to finalize.
Thank you. Thank you for your consideration, Mr. Speaker. I still feel that there is no right um, inclusion of the legal approach on how the government, through this affordable social housing bill, is going to take over land that is supposed to be community land. And therefore, I oppose this bill, and I have put my amendment to see whether my concerns and the concerns of the people I represent have been captured in this bill. Thank you. Minority Whip. 